To end this video, you're going to learn how to create a wallet, how to receive and traffic your Cardano ADA right to you, Nano Ledger S. This way, you can keep your Cardanos safe for the future out of this change. If you find this video useful, I will leave you my ADA address right below this video. So let's begin now. Our first step is install ADA in the Nano Ledger. So we need to go into manage the account. You need to, again, first, you have to put your code. So I've set my code already. Now, it could happen if you try to install ADA, your memory is full. So the best thing to do is delete it. You can always delete it and put it back. You're never going to lose any crypto. In my case, I have uh, many other, and I think I only have uh, here uh, Ethereum. You must have Ethereum and Bitcoin by default to, to install any other crypto. In my case, I got Repo and many other ones. And as you see there, I only have to install. So first thing we go there, we're going to tap other. We're going to install this. And no worry about You can install and erase and put it back again. You never lose any crypto. I've already installed this many times just on purpose to make this video. All right, so that's done. So if we browse into the ledger, we can see there we have other install. So after we install it, now we need an external wallet to connect. Not different, let's say like uh, a Stellar works the same way, or any RC20 tokens. It will not manage it by itself, by the Nano Ledger, but the Nano Ledger will manage your private key. So what we're going to do, we're going to minimize this. For the purpose of demonstration of this, and I'm always use Scrum, do not use Firefox if Firefox is not supported. So we got two wallets, the Yordi, I think, or Yordi, you pronounce it, and then other lights. And these are other lights. Now, you have to see what you prefer. Now, in my case, I would love to show you other light wallet, but for some reason, my ledger don't want to recognize. So by default, I have to use the Yori wallet. All right, so both the same. Now we need to install, in this case, we need to install an extension. And what we're going to do, we're going to install the extension. Pretty simple, we hit the Chrome extension. We allow, and you want to install. Now, no worry if you delete an extension, put it back again, and delete a hundred times, always, always will be there your wallet and I show you a sample already a few times so that's gone out of there and we see the extension right over here we click on it the next step is your language agree there we click continue and now we have to choose what we're going to connect you either can connect with a tracer or in that case with the ledger. The purpose of this video, we're going to be using the ledger so we can act with the ledger. Next step, and that's pretty important. You're going to press a few times here. So I tell you what it supports, only supports Nano Ledger S model. All right, so we need to have the application already installed. We did that, and you must remain inside the Cardano device. So we're going to do, we're going to press the two taps in the top, two ones in the top, and we activate Cardano. All right. So we click next. Now, if you pay attention here, it says waiting for connection. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to press the two on the top because nothing will happen, okay? So we press two on the top. At that point, we'll connect, connect. At this point, make sure you press the two on the top. Now, we confirm again. Then we confirm to one on the side. And now that's the name. You can save us as something else. I'm going to save it that. We click save. And it's done. So even I didn't have my uh, extension there because I deleted it, put it back in purpose to make the media. We can see here a balance. I already trump it in and trump it out. And it's working perfect. Now we can see here the balance. And we see here nine ADA. And two, I send it back to my um, exchange. 
Now what we're going to do, we're going to be sending this in and out to show you how this thing works. So we're going to click receive and that give you the address. So we copy. And I don't recommend this if you do this for the first time or if you do any crypto for the first time, always send some to try. Do not send all your balance. Send 20, 10, whatever you have. Send some, one, two, a minimum. Make sure your wallet works perfect before you send the whole balance. So I'm going to cap again. I memorized my address. And now I'm going to go to my exchange and send it here. All right. So after a while, see, finally, we got the nine others. Remember I said 10? Well, 10, they charged me one other as a fee. So finally, we got that was pretty simple. You know, copy the address, go to exchange, whatever you have your other thing, you send it. Now, how we send it to somebody else, and I'll show you. We're going to click send. We're going to put the wallet where I'm going to be sending this. And then I'm going to click to. So we are right there. So we click next. We are ready that we're going to send. That's the fee. We're going to click send. Now we're going to click confirm. Tell me the amount I'm going to be sending. But at this point, we need to press the two buttons in the top because at this point, it will not do anything. But wait for me. It's not giving you anything mess any message. So we click again. It show me the address. I'm going to click the two buttons again. Show me the transaction fee. We're going to click the two buttons again. And now we're going to confirm. And now they send it. So you have to follow this step because there's no message that will show you on the ledger. You're going to be waiting, waiting, and says what happened, why nothing's moving. So you got to press it. All right, so now we transfer the address uh, back to the, to the other wallet. And this way is how to transfer and receive and keep your address safe, not using the, your the ledger extension. All right, so now I want to show you the other light wallet. This will be good to send others. Uh, in this case, right now, I'm using Firefox, and it's a Firefox, and it's working better for me in this case compared to the Chrome. So we are in the main screen. We put continue. We have the hardware wallet, so we click right over here. Choose your model. We're going to choose this one, unlock. Now we get that screen, so I'm going to press, I'm going to activate, press it two times. At this point, see, and it's going to export my public key, so we need to press the two button. If not, you're going to be waiting forever. So press the two. Now we say yes, and we wait. And that's it. Remember before, they have about, yeah, 13 others, we transfer back and forth. We, we we'll receive nine, we try and fit two, we we'll receive another nine, and we try and fit two. That's perfect. Now, if you want to send some from here to another wallet, because these allow you only to send, tap your address, tap the amount, and show you the fee, and then technically it will be the same. You will have to activate here, press again, and confirm it as you saw that in the other wallet. All right, so with this, we complete the tutorial. How to receive, transfer out of, uh, to use the Jordi and to use the Adelaide. Thank you.